Welcome back to MDL Crochet for our stitch tutorial. This week's stitch is the Lacy Chains. The stitch is very airy. It is very simple to do. It is one of those stitches that you just pull up your normal loop and then you build on that on top of. It is such an easy stitch to do. So let's go ahead and just get into it and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so this stitch is called Lacy Chains. Now, it can be done in any number of chains. All right, so for this stitch, it can be done in any number of chains. I went ahead and I did 14 and went ahead and pulled up my foundation row. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna chain four. One, two, three, four. Now, keeping that on your hook, you're going to go straight into where you normally would, and you're going to do a knit stitch, and then pull up your loop, chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Go back to the next stitch, and do a knit again. And chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then back down. This is the it. Just repeat. A knit stitch. And chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And just continue this process all the way down to the end. One, two, there goes three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, 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 five. Remember, it's a knit stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're almost there. We're almost to the end, but we got to do our last knit stitch. So knit it and chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the, our normal end. Do what we normally would at the end, going through the two loops, or the, the actual chain, and then you get the back loop that you're going, splitting, pull up your loop. Now you're gonna chain three. One, two, three. Now we chain one more to start our return pass, so chain one. Now yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two all the way down till the end. It's gonna be a little weird because this is one of those very loose stitches. All right, pulling through the last stitch now. So we got that row done. 
and it does look weird I know now we're going to do knit stitches you're just going to do a knit stitch in every gap that you normally would that you can do a knit stitch in on top of every chain you just did now it's going to be a little loose but you can fix that with your tension but I purposely let it loose so you can see what I'm doing because it would be very confusing with all this going on right now but just pull up your knit stitches and then here what we're going to do is we chain three remember there was one two and three well we're going to go into that third one so we could do our end closure and make it nice and clean and you're going to split it pull up your loop chain one and pull through two and do your normal return pass okay so now we are just repeating chain four one two three four go into the very next loop and do a knit stitch and chain five one two three four and five go to the next loop do a knit stitch and chain five one two three four five you're going down to the next loop doing a knit stitch chain five one two three four and five and it's just a repeat all the way down again one two three four five knit stitch chain five one two three four and five knit stitch chain five one two three four and five another knit stitch chain five one two three four and five knit stitch chain five one two three four and five knit stitch chain five one two three four and five knit stitch chain five one two three four and five another knit and chain five one two three four and five and a knit stitch chain five one two three four and five and then we're going to go to our normal end chain three one two three chain our extra one because we're about to start our return pass so chain one so that makes four and then yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two continuously yarning over and pulling through two till you only have that one loop left on your hook 
Alrighty. Now we do another row of knit stitches. One, just go right on in and do your knit stitches. It's going to be a lot easier to see because they're going to be a little loose and that is that's 100% fine. This is a loose stitch. And it creates that bevel that we're looking for. All right, we're coming up on the last stitch now. So what we remember, it's one, two, three. Turn sideways, poke it through, yarn over. So you have that straight, clean edge. Then chain one, and then pull, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two consistently all the way down to the end. All right, we're at the last one now. Now we're gonna do one more row together. And that, so we're going to chain four, one, two, three, four, drop down, do a knit stitch, and the very next stitch, and then chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Drop down to the very next stitch, do a knit. Chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Drop down, chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Drop down, knit stitch, chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Drop down, knit stitch, chain five, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this row and I'll see you in just a second. All right, so we're at the end and we're gonna go ahead and do our normal enclosure. And then chain three, one, two, three. Chain that extra one because we're about to do our return pass. So chain one and yarn over and pull through two. Normal return pass. It's always yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two till you only have that one loop left on your hook. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the close off. Now the close off, how you're gonna do the close off is just a knit stitch slip stitch. So go ahead and do your knit stitch and slip it off. And that is it. That's the closure. Now it's not much of a closure because of how airy this stitch is, but it's still a closure. Now for this end, how we're going to do the closure is you're still going to do it on the third one. One, two, three. Fold it over and go right on through and do your slip stitch. Grab your scissors, snippy, pull it, tighten it, and that, my friends, very layered and remember
remember, folks, if you can give me a like and subscribe, it'd be greatly appreciated. And leave me a comment. I will chit-chat with you. And as always, keep stitching.